Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swim Guide. This week on the guide, we are continuing the Hit That Music series, talking about the lariat for hitting the five of the pattern and the one, or the phrase change, of the music. The lariat, for those of you unfamiliar with the terminology, is just an outside turn where instead of the leaders facing the follower while they spin, we turn our back to the followers so they spin behind our back and it looks super cool. Breaking the leaders part down, we're stepping diagonal back like normal. Here's our prep for the outside turn. Count two, we're stepping sideways on the left rail as we're starting our followers spinning. From here, we're tripling three and four. We're facing towards our partner. Since we're hitting the music here, we can delay the snap around a little bit and hit five to make it a little bit more pronounced. Show me that with the follower. One, two, three, and four, hit five. All right, so for our followers, there's two things about this move that can kind of derail us. One is that it feels like there's a lot going on, and so we can tend to want to embellish that by pausing somewhere in the middle of the lariat. We don't want to do that because the point is to have that awesome five moment as a partnership musicality moment. Uh, the other thing we tend to do is because our leader's back is turned, they have to lead this turn from a little bit of a higher place. So if we're used to our hand height feet for a spin being a little lower, we might resist the leader lifting that arm up. But remember followers, the leader sets the handhold height, and so we'll want to just allow that to happen so the spin will really work. Otherwise, uh, this is just an outside turn for us followers. So if I can have the track, what you're going to see is that the followers do outside turn pattern work. Walk, walk, triple step, and then here, that five, just like Matt said, is a musical moment most times where we're hitting the one or the phrase change, but it doesn't have to be. It's the six count pattern normally, so if it's not hitting that music, we can just triple it out, five and six. A couple of common pitfalls for our leaders. We tend to try to make this turn happen at the same time because there's a lot of moving pieces to it. So we want to make sure we've started our followers turning before we turn. If we try to turn at the same time, we tend to bump shoulders. Versus, I'm thinking about starting this right turning, and then I can make my turn happen. Another common pitfall is we tend to overcomplicate our turn and really try to turn our songs leaders. If we're just doing one lariat, it's as simple as looking from right to left. And I can play that look again to accent the musicality. Showing this one more time with musicality. One, two, three, and four, hit five. And without musicality, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Just an anchor. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. You can check us out online at mattdavisswing.com. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter as Rising Tides Wing Dance Studio. Bye.